everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are jumping in to the first ever BoxyCharm by Ipsy. The merger has happened. Everything has come together to where the base BoxyCharm box and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus no longer exist, and they are merged into one mega box that is called BoxyCharm by Ipsy. So today we're going to go through all of the items in the BoxyCharm by Ipsy base box box, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be that like $30 a month subscription. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because I upload every other day. That'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to jump into some fantastic products this month, stay tuned. All right, so I am jumping into my Ipsy app and we are going to pull up the descriptions on each of the five products. Now the app has officially changed over, so it is called BoxyCharm on the app, and we're gonna jump through the five products in here. First, from Drunk Elephant, this is the Ooh Blues Rosy Drops, retailing for $38, this is a full size. The secret to youthful radiant skin is a rosy glow that looks lit from within. For days when you need a little extra help, reach for these peachy pink dew enhancing drops. Formulated with omega fatty acids and a hint of color to keep your skin glowy with a little flush. Shake well, dab a little onto your cheeks for a natural warm flush. I'm going to add a little bit of this. I don't have any makeup on at all, but we're going for like a no makeup thing today. So shaken nicely. I'm going to take a little bit of this on the cheek. And I am going to use my fingers just because I've seen that that looks good. Definitely has quite a bit of color. So I feel like this would look really nice with a uh, tinted moisturizer or something. Definitely went a little heavy. So I'm just gonna blend. So I naturally have a lot of redness to my skin, so it's not looking like it's doing a ton, but it does look good. So I'm gonna do the other side as well. I went in with slightly less on this side. It definitely has a really nice glow to it. And I feel like, you know that trend where everything's taking blush like into the under eyes and over the nose? I think this is going to be a really great product for getting that really nice, like, summery, sun-kissed, beachy blush. All right, I have a white cloth right here, and we're just going to pat to see if we get any transfer. No, everything looks clean. So it is sitting on the skin, it's absorbing into the skin nicely, and it's not transferring. Definitely gave a little more color to the skin. I kind of want to test this on top of a tinted moisturizer, but I like it so far. The next item is from Fenty Beauty, and I have actually used this product before, but in a different color. This is the Shadow Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette in Smoky. This is number six. It is such a pretty color, but definitely a little more bold than I wanted to do today. Retailing for $30, this is a full size. It might be mini, but it is packed with six powerhouse blendable eyeshadows and a range of matte shimmer and glitter finishes. Uh, mix and match to create a signature smoky eye. Let me know down below if you want to see me do a smoky eye with this. This literally is like the perfect colors to do a nice smoky eye. But I'm not sure if I like want to go super smoky. I feel like smoky for me is fall. But let me know if that's something you want to see in the comments down below. The next item is from Ula Henriksen, and this is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Stick. This is in the shade Banana. Uh, stick to your dark under eye circles with this color correcting creamy stick. Infused with two forms of vitamin C plus banana powder inspired pigments to neutralize or brighten dark circles and discoloration. Now, I have no concealer on, so we're going to take a little bit of this. Now, a little bit got stuck in the cap, so it looks like this one's used, but it's not. Just not the best packaging. And we're going to take a little swoop under both eyes. And I'm going to just pat that in with my finger. And I'm actually going to blend that over the blush. Just so that we don't get, you know, a line where one end and one begins. Now, just looking at this, I will say, helping to tone down the blush that I put all the way up into the under eyes, which is nice. But I feel like I should have done this before I did the uh, blush and blended the blush over the brightener. But that is brightening the under eyes really nicely. I am going to need a tiny bit more of that uh, blush though just to blend together where those two meet. Really liking the skincare so far. Next up from the brand Pacifica, 
This is going to be the Vegan Collagen Recovery Body Butter. Now, I don't typically use body butter, so I'm going to be putting this in an upcoming giveaway, but this retails for $18. If you're crazy about collagen, this body butter is right up your alley, infused with the brand's signature vegan collagen, fermented peptides, and shea butter. This is a good-for-you formula that supports elasticity and hydrate dull, dry skin. Again, not the type of product I use, so I will be passing on that. And the last item out of the box comes from the brand Ciate London, and this is the Ciate X Smiley with the little smiley face lip mask, retailing for $18. If you want a product that goes beyond just a basic lip balm, this mask is up to the task. Doubles as an overnight lip treatment too, so you can just dab this on any time of day for a hit of shea butter and jojoba seed hydration. I love masks like this. I have been using them for years. I usually have an applicator around here somewhere, but I don't see one. So we're just going to go in with a clean brush. This is an eyeshadow brush, but it's clean, so I can use it for anything. And I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. Now you can absolutely use your fingers in that kind of a product. I don't like using my fingers in my skincare or my lip care. So it's very smooth. It's not grainy. It has a very, like, thin oily consistency, which I do like. I don't like when these masks feel very silicone-y. It has like no flavor, which I think is a good thing because a lot of people don't love that. And I think, I think I like it. All right, rounding up the bag box, seeing if we like it. What I will say is for the first month of the Ipsy Boxy Charm merge, I will say that this is one of the best boxes I've gotten in months. I think the drops look beautiful. I do want to try mixing them into a tinted moisturizer or using them on top to see how strong that blush is. Really like the under eye corrector. I don't usually use an under eye corrector because, you know, our concealers are basically super full coverage nowadays. But on a day where I don't want any concealer, I think it's very pretty. The lip mask feels very nice. Obviously, I'll have to use it more over time to see if I really end up loving it. But so far, so good. I know I like the formula on the palette. I have used this formula before. So let me know if you want to see a smoky eye using this. And of the five items, the only pass was the Pacifica. So definitely so far so good. After I do, I have my base glam bag here. I need to review and film that video next. Once I do that and I actually get a chance to look at what's inside that bag, I am going to do a separate video just rounding up all of my thoughts about Ipsy versus BoxyCharm and old months versus this month and how everything seems to have changed. If that's something you're into, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. Thank you again. Leave your comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.